Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Norridge, in Illinois, with the frauditor known as Tyrant Terminator Audits, as he attempts to film in the local immigration office. And what business does he have there? I have no freaking clue, and neither does he. But he ends up getting booted out, so that's something right there. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's good? What's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Man, today we at the United States Citizenship Immigration Services. Uh, this is their application support center out in Norridge, Illinois. Just go in here, get ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public. Yeah, and if they boot you out of there and trespass you and all that, you'll cry about your rights being violated, even though you have no freaking clue what they are to begin with, because you have no freaking clue that, yeah, you can be trespassed from a public building, as many of you do on many occasions. Many, many minutes later. Just coming in to uh, document. What's your name? Oh, you're not allowed to record in here. Really? Yeah. I see the signs, but yeah. um, this is public property. Oh. <laughs> I'm just coming in to document and grab a couple of FOIA request forms. That's it. So right away, you see those signs that says... Uh, well, I never. If recording devices weren't bad enough, they had to go uh, ban eating and drinking in this building. I mean, it is a public building, after all. I should be able to eat all I want and drink all I want in this public building. And if I leave a mess on the floor, that's all right. The custodians, well, they, that's what their job is anyway, isn't it? And as far as recording goes, damn everybody else's privacy and rights. I want my rights. I want my right to record in here, even though it, there's sensitive information floating around in here. No recording devices. These items are prohibited in this office. Disregarding this notice will result in removal from the premises. Uh, wonder if they're aware of the CFR that allows us to record. Yeah, citation needed on that, dude. I mean, you just can't pull something out of your ass and expect us to believe it, do you? Hello. I'm sorry. Um, picture taken and recording is not allowed in here. Why not? Because this is a federal office. That's exactly why it's allowed. Can I... Are you here for fingerprints or any process? Well, I'm just here, like I told the young lady, I'm here to um, document the building and grab a couple of FOIA request forms from you guys. Well, I did find the CFR that you were talking about, and it says that all commercial filming requires a permit in the buildings. And since you're trying to sell this on YouTube to make a profit, you are doing this for commerce. Therefore, you require a permit. So, yeah, you're not in the right position right now, dude. Sorry. Um, picture taken and so It does say it out here. Yeah, I know it says it right here, too, but okay. there's, there's not a law. I'm sorry, but... What's your name? What's your name? You can't give me your name. Oh, wow. And so it begins. How you doing, ma'am? I am so good. I'm Officer Ramos with Immigration. How you doing today? I'm good. So can like I, I ask you? Why are you recording? Do like, you have an appointment today? No, ma'am. What, what's your name again? Officer Ramos. Uh, Officer Ramos. Like I just explained to this young lady and the young lady, first young lady that encountered me, I'm just here to document the building and to grab a couple of FOIA request forms from you guys. Uh, we, okay, so we don't have a FOIA. We don't have any applications for immigration because 
this is just a fingerprint site. So okay. unfortunately, we get we give you no, there's nothing for any of us to give you. Well, I could just fill it out on a blank sheet of paper and no, turn it. No, there's nothing here. So the only thing that we do in this building mm -hmm. is just fingerprints for immigration. That is it. So people who walk in here already have appointments. That's correct. This is a contracting uh, facility, so they don't even have anything to do with immigration. So there is nothing. Well, we excuse me, ma'am, but. Uh, this guy doesn't want to hear all that. He wants his damn FOIA here and now. But he, what he doesn't understand, maybe that you guys don't have the capacity to do it. I mean, but of course, I don't think he's worked a day in his life, so he really doesn't know how these things work. I mean, he's uneducated and he's uh, unemployable. So there you go. He's got to go and bother somebody. It might as well be, well, somebody else other than you. We're talking about this, the actual the facility the itself. The facility is just a facility for fingerprints. It's a federal facility, no, though, right? No, sir. We are not so why federal. did she tell me that? The young lady just, her right not, there. <laughs> we're not federal. Why she this say is that? Not a federal. She's a contractor. She doesn't know. Oh, she doesn't know. She's not federal. Okay. This is not what, federal. What? Okay. Right. What is it? State. No, it's just a, <laughs> a building. This is just a building that that the the contractors contracted. So, which is renting. So, so what, I'll put it like this. What, put it like this. What do you? Immigration. Okay, so let me ask you this. What does this particular site offer in terms of services? In terms of services, we offer fingerprints that the immigration has already um, scheduled. Okay, them. that's correct. So, and, and, and we don't do anything. Ah, so it makes a bit more sense at this point. I mean, this is not a government building. It is a building that has been contracted by the U.S. government for fingerprinting analysis for immigration services. So the CFR really doesn't count here, and their own personal rules will apply here. So you are still out of luck, dude. Get out of here before you cause more of a scene and embarrass yourself even further. I'm sorry, I have to ask you to leave, otherwise I will come back. Yes, so that's why I'm trying to tell you nicely, sir. I understand. That right now there isn't anything really here that, that has anything to do with immigration except for people that well, come in for fingerprints. Right, which still has something to do with immigration. Yes, it does, but... It, but immigration, they already done the services, they pay their fees, they do what they have to do, then they get scheduled. But as far as that, that's the only thing that's, that we do here in this building. Okay, right. I'm well, sorry, like I was just explaining. I'm to ask you to leave. I'm having a, I'm having a conversation. You're yes, interrupting. Yes, you keep recording, so. Well, because I have a First Amendment right to do so. But, yes, sir, you do. But let's step outside if you want to keep talking. Now, well, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm here for specific but, things. But tell me, what are you here I for? I just told you I'm here for, to, like, if you guys don't have the FOIA but forms. we don't have FOIA That's forms. great. I can just fill it out on a blank sheet of paper and turn it into you still. No, you can't because we don't accept anything here. I think she understands what you want. She just doesn't have the capacity in that building to give you what you want. So take a hint and take a hike, dude. You, you cannot you, accept The thing is, you papers. have to. No, we don't have to. We do not accept The law it. states that you have to. But you're in the wrong building, see? Absolutely not. This yes, is a government no. building. This is not a government yes, building, it is. sir. It, it says it all on the web. <laughs> no, it's not a government building, Let me show building, it to you. I can show it to you. No. Oh, you don't want to, you're not interested in seeing well, it. I'm telling you, this is not. This is, people, we don't give anything here. We don't give you well, anything. Well, I see a lot of people no. here. Obviously, you guys are offering some type of services. This, this is packed in here today. No, I can do better. Uh, the only thing that we can do probably that can help you that have applications and are more, is um, organizations. Organization, okay. Community-based organizations. Okay, and they do now, offer services. If you do go to them, yes. Then they can, you know, you can say, hey, I want to fill out a FOIA form, da da da, da and they'll say, they can help you out. Dude, she runs this place. If she says it's not a government building, it's most likely not a government building. Are you going to walk into a McDonald's and say it's Taco Bell and the manager tells you, no, it's not a Taco Bell, it's a McDonald's, and you're going to stand there and argue with him to the contrary? I'm sure that's what you'll, you'll do because... You just want to have that feeling of power to make, put people in their place, right? You want to make that McDonald's manager feel like that it's a Taco Bell. Am I right? I understand what you're saying, but what I'm, all I'm saying is, I hope, hopefully you understand this, that this is a government building. It is not a government building. Oh, do you want me to show it to you? No, I can, 
Maybe the website says it, but this is <laughs> why not wouldn't the you? Building why aren't you interested in seeing it? <laughs> why aren't you interested in seeing it? I can prove it to you. No, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I, I, like I said, I want to document the building and. Well, you can't walk around nowhere, so you have to stay there if you're going to document anything because. I just yep, got to stay right here. Stay right there because you don't have any services here. Oh, There's wow. nothing for you to come in here for. I mean, it's public property, man. <laughs> so, I, you know what I mean? Like, it's public. Uh, his circular reasoning is giving me a headache. So let's just go ahead and end this as quickly as possible with the police encounter. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. A little longer than a few minutes later. How you doing, Austin? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What's your name and badge number? Right here, you can see it. I, I can't pronounce it, sir. Don't want to make a mistake. You don't. You are. What's your name? Well, I, I don't need anything. I don't even know why they called you guys here. They have a sign that says you can't What I was trying to explain to this young lady, and this young lady as well, uh, we have a First Amendment right to record in here. Plus, not only that, sir, I'm just, just going to okay. Want to explain to you. Um, plus, it's in CFR, which is code of federal regulations that allows me to do this in the public accessible areas and real quick officer watts it is 108 i just want to know from any one of you officers from you guys from the norridge police department yes okay so do you guys have a contract that can come on this property and enforce federal regulations that's all i want to know man i am so tired of the jurisdiction argument these that these frauditors put out no you're not in the jurisdiction you're there. This isn't your jurisdiction. Well, of course it is, you dumbass. This city, this building rests within the city limits. Therefore, it is their jurisdiction. It is their priority. Get over it, dude. You're not going to win this battle. You're, do you have a contract with this agency to come enforce federal regulations? If not, you guys are out of your jurisdiction. This is not because a federal building. It is. It is. It is not. It is not. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's, it's all. We are going to press asked charges. To leave, so just leave. I'm, I'm asking they want a question, to press sir. Charges, sir. You've been asked to leave, so just leave. If you don't leave, then you'll be in violation of criminal trespass. They will like okay, so I want to ask you this real quick. If I don't leave, I will be in violation of criminal trespass. You will be arrested because you're in the state of Illinois, the county of Cook, and under the okay. Illinois compiled statutes, okay. you're in violation of criminal trespass. Okay, so under threat of arrest and duress, I will leave under Officer Watts's direction. I'm just saying. So I'm done, for sure. I'm just Tell him I understand. I'm just saying. You call it a threat. You call it a threat. I mean, I, you did threaten me. You said if I don't leave, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> Dude, he didn't threaten you in any way. He gave you the consequence of an of your actions should you choose the wrong action, and that happens all the time within the school systems. Uh, if you don't do this, then you'll be subject to this particular punishment right here. It's very standard corrective action in schools, and you should have been able to understand that at the very least. So make it like a tree and leave. Threat, that's the law. I okay, you. okay, we're, we're, again, I'm going to leave since you did convey that to me, and I'm gonna go to the, um, I'm, uh, you guys' police department and file some official, uh, official uh, complaint. What's your name, officer? Officer uh, Gobiaski. Go Gobiaski. Yes, Appreciate that. And then, uh, where, where is you guys' uh, probation? I mean, not probation, but uh, police department. Forty twenty North. And it's Watts, and I don't know how to say your name. Deutscher. Deutscher thirty nine, yes. and the other officer. Okay. Oh, uh, they said something about um, um, that it wasn't a, it wasn't a, obviously it was. They trying to say it wasn't a government. This is government prop. This is public prop. But I mean, the only thing is, you can't just ask me to leave for, uh, minus a crime. I didn't do anything illegal. Well, you were, That's why you see no okay. signs are attached to that. I'm a trespassing. Yeah. Because they ask you to leave, right? And you yeah. stayed on the property. So, but you have to ask me to. Well, the only way you can ask me to leave is if I committed a crime no. or caused a disturbance. No, if you're remaining on the property. Yeah, you just can't just ask me to leave just randomly, sir. And then you guys are coming here, and, and you're not even federal officers. You, you know, if, well, the appropriate person would have been called was FPS, Federal Protective Services. So again, you guys are sitting here trying to enforce <laughs> federal regulations. Uh, 
Everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. You know, at this point, I'm beginning to believe there's nothing but a vast chasm of air between the ears on your head because all this has been established already. This is not a government building. The CFR you quoted, even if it was the proper bu uh, uh, government building, does not support your uh, claims. And it's been established many times that you don't need to do anything criminal to be trespassed, because if that were the case, then it'd be already too late for the trespass. And as far as the jurisdiction goes, that building is sitting in their town. They have jurisdiction over it, no matter if it's a federal building or a privately owned building. If they're called for a disturbance there, then they have jurisdiction. They just can't wait on the federal police to come by and kick morons like you out the door. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.